Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Julia. And I'm Karina. And guys, Nathan's not here today. What he's, happened? He's out on vacation. <laughs> he's left us for the sunny beaches of Austin, Texas. <sighs> the sunny beaches of Austin, Texas, huh? <laughs> A landlocked city. A landlocked city. <laughs> uh, he may be gone, but there is someone here in his place. Is it me? It's not you. It's really? It's an artist that we all know and love. It's Ooh. Newsday, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little Karina diss right there. Karina's also here what? for your first Newsday episode? Yeah. Is that true? I think so. Yes. That seems true. Yes. It must be because I've never drawn you in a little Newsday style before, but this time I'll have a reason to. Perfect. So Finally. <laughs> welcome to the animation, Karina. Yeah. Today, we're doing an OC fan art challenge. I put out a tweet um, not very long ago and immediately got almost 250 replies uh, of people sending in their OCs. <laughs> Literally within 10 minutes, it was 250 submissions. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be too late with putting out the tweet and I was like, oh, I hope we get enough by the time we start recording. And we did, <laughs> we did do it. Um, so each of us have picked someone's original character and we're gonna just do a little little fan art drawing of them. I'm gonna do mine first. Uh, the person whose art I'm doing a fan art of is um, Hooded Crow Illustrations, at Hooded Crow Art, uh, did this cool like foresty deer lady yeah, um, that I really right. like. It's got like a really simple, fun design. So I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to do some of that. There's a lot going on in here that I like. I like the under eye bags, cause that's relatable, hashtag relatable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love mm. the setting. There's just, it's so, there's so little setting and yet that's all you needed. Yeah, she's in the woods. Yeah. That's all that matters. Perfect. Get in the woods. And I love that this tweet, also the only words that went with it is, sword isn't even sharp. Sword isn't even sharp. <laughs> so what does this deer person just doing? It's an woods, old dull sword. <laughs> I guess. Pretending to be a cool swords woman. She looks sassy and saucy. Yeah. To me. <laughs> um, I think I want like like a cool action pose. And I think I'm gonna do it in sort of my um, you know, my bean style. Yeah. Okay. I'm going bean style on this one, you guys. Full beans. Maybe what kind of move should she be doing? Hmm. Well, you said an action y pose. Like like a stab? A or like a, a a stab is good. Maybe like a swiping through some vines with okay. a not even sharp sword. Do a flip in perspective. Do a flip in perspective. <laughs> I think I know what I want to do. Is it a flip in perspective? <laughs> I don't know what a flip in. Oh, like a front flip? Is that what you're saying? Just something really hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do anything really hard. I'm on bad. On a bike. On a BMX bike. Yeah. You forget that I'm not good. I'm bad. In traffic. I'm bad yeah. at art. Lots of cars. Lots of cars. Guys, I'm bad at art. <laughs> Cityscape in the background. I can't. I can't. I can't do How that. How long do we have for this episode? Do we have like 40 minutes to record this? Yeah. So I should probably definitely do a full cityscape <laughs> yeah, for this forest woodland. Fine. OC. You Listen, love three point perspective. You know that the real <laughs> forest out there is the concrete forest. The, the city. They, as they call it, the, the concrete man, forest. The man made <laughs> forest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the saying. <laughs> is it not? Mm. I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> Yeah. About what I'm doing here. I want okay. like a, a jumping sort of down at you perspective. Like maybe she's leapt out of the trees. She's about to bonk you on the head. <laughs> and she's can't got slice like. You. Sword's not yeah. sharp enough. Well, she's going to have the sword. Yeah, but can bonk you. Because it's more of like a threat. The sword. Oh, she's lefty, left hand. So yeah, this hand's going to be like up and back this way. Like, yeah, I'm jumping. You know how you do when you jump out of a tree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. With my sword. <laughs> or maybe she's like, okay, bear with me. Okay, bear maybe with me. Maybe she's you. doing a front flip in perspective over a car in a city. <laughs> uh-huh. Now maybe she's like swinging in on something. On a vine? Like on a vine. Um, I like it. Can Similar I just say energies. we got a lot of really good submissions. Yeah, we really did. There were so many good ones where I was like, Listen, dog. <laughs> yeah. I can't improve on this. Yeah, literally, what I we would say is doing. like we would scroll past them and just be like, <laughs> "What could I possibly do? Yeah, to make this better 
The answer is nothing. Yeah, you're better. You're a better artist than me. Not that we picked ones where we were like, uh, clearly we can improve because they're all phenomenal. Yeah, I love the art on this one I picked. Yeah, but it's something like kind of close to my wheelhouse, and um, <laughs> it seemed like something I could put like a fun spin on. Um, some of them I was just like, this is the art is too good. Yeah, like I don't want to punish you for having good art. With but I am art. I am doing it. <laughs> uh, you're punished by not getting to be in the episode. On account of art too good. I mean, really, the punishment would have been seeing their wonderful, beautiful, you know, multi-hour long drawings just doomed by us. And yeah. Just made significantly worse as we try to rush through it for an episode. Yeah, drawn in just a few short minutes, a yeah. few short moments. Oh, it looks like it's got sort of a, like a bodice deal. Mm, okay. Is that right? Yeah. Is that what that's called? I can't really see it. From corset? That. It's not really a corset. It's like a... I don't know what that's You know what called. I'm talking about. Sure. Rib yeah. You're illiterate, yeah. Karina. <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Karina so nicely, we like we give her ten minutes to prep for a Drawfee episode so many times. We're just like, You wanna be in an episode? Uh huh, right, right now. Right now. Gotcha. <laughs> and then we bring her on and we're like Hey, fuck you, Karina. <laughs> You're being replaced by Newsday. <laughs> You're illiterate. Womp, womp. I mean, okay. to be fair, it's it's just me that said those things. That's true. I, I said those things. I'm just happy to be included. Oh, you're you're the Nathan of the episode today. Just always positive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get the not sharp sword in there. You're Nathan if Nathan were a workaholic. <laughs> For this episode. <laughs> I'll take it. Instead of the lazy piece of shit that he is. <laughs> wah, wah, He's pew, not pew, even here pew, to pew, defend pew. himself. <laughs> Eat shit, Nathan. <laughs> wow. I want to get more like radio soundboard yeah. sort of effects on the Drawfee program. <laughs> Karina, you're the soundboard. Oh. Make a bunch of good sound effects every time we make a joke. Okay. Here, let's try it out. Oh. Hey, Julia, you're a good artist <laughs> if an idiot were saying it. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Flawless performance. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> of all the noises I thought would happen just then, it, it wasn't was honk. not it. Okay, I'm, clo I'm closing in on it here. <laughs> It's nice. Yeah, this is a fun pose. I like yeah. this. This is some action packed shit. And like of course like there's gonna be like people down here like, Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> oh no. We really messed up this time. This guy's just shrugging like, Oh, I guess <laughs> guess we're dead. Darn it. <laughs> because you haven't drawn the face yet, it looks like the town is being attacked by spot. The logo. Cool spot? Cool spot. No, not just spot, Julia. It's cool, <laughs> cool spot. I'm sorry. Spot's just oh. a dog. No, I'm going to get the face in there now. All right. I feel like um, this character would be sort of like the, the joyful, gleeful bandit type, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's got like the personality and like the swagger. Yeah. Sort of a Han Solo. Always roguish. a little flirty. Yeah. I have news for you, Jacob. Yeah. You've drawn this character as Legsy. This is Legsy. This is Legsy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this character. New Draga, right now. This character's cooler than Legzy, who was designed by an idiot. Wah, 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 wah. No, to to, yeah, oh, sorry, go ahead, Karina. 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 Uh, um, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Savage bird. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the part of the episode where I just say yeah, yeah until <laughs> that's okay. Until it's done. You're allowed to be positive about your own art. That's allowed. It's encouraged even. Well, you know, like the <laughs> part. If you weren't such an idiot. No. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Truly incredible. The most savage episode uh, yet. <laughs> you won't believe what these hosts say to each other. <laughs> I don't know if you I don't know if you saw it uh, when you were looking at it the first time, but this character has um, antlers. Yes, I did see it. So 
Uh, just making sure you didn't forget about the antlers. No, I've not forgotten about the antlers. That's nice. nice. Um, but I I did forget about the antlers. Oh. So I am gonna have to work um. those in. I'm trying to decide if they're part of the headband. No, I think the headband is like pushing the hair up and out of her face, and then like the ears are just real back there. I mean, the antlers are real back there. <laughs> Ears antlers are forever. antlers are the ears of stags. Yeah, that's just biology. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> was that a soundboard or was that just like your opinion? No, uh, don't it's worry not. about it. <laughs> and notice that I did say your opinion, because <laughs> yeah. I know the true facts. I also left out this cool like uh, cloak, like collar, this leaf collar. I got to get that in there. That's rad. That's rad. Um, that's Brad. That's Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've made kind of a mistake of now obscuring this hand a lot that I worked on back there. Oh, you pulled a me. Because I had to get these <laughs> antlers in. You pulled a me where you drew a thing and then immediately covered it up. Yeah, that's basically what I did, huh? Yeah. You just be like that. Did you spend just way too much time drawing that thing? I didn't I, did. I didn't spend way too much time, thankfully. Oh, that's so what I, I think <laughs> I think we're pretty good on that front. Yeah, I think I'm I'm finishing up on this. Am I missing anything? There's like a uh, a necklace that I'll get right there, kind of floating. Maybe some little boot details. Oh yeah, the boot, boot yeah. details. There's some little triangles. Boot details. You'll see when I do the finished version. I'm gonna make this hand so that it's a little more <laughs> prominent, kind of like that. Yeah. And nice. then these people down here are gonna be like, "We're fucked." She's got <gasps> a blunt soul. Well, they don't know that, Julia. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's how she. That's how she do. She come in <laughs> with the I'd like sword. It if it was like one of those prop swords from movies where you see in the background characters, they're just like flopping around because it's quite clearly foam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is it for me. Let me get some action lines in here. This maybe. is I great. Have action lines. So I think this is a fun. This is a fun action packed scene. Um, Karina, you want to hop in and, and do yours? I would love to hop in and do mine. All right, let's swap. Okay, so the one I chose is by at Bunnyberry. It is Apricot Demon Girl. Little cat face at the end. Yeah, too. a little cat face with a little hand going up to its mouth. Mm. Oh, is that what the C is at the end? Did you not know that? No, I didn't know that. Well, that's what it is. Well, good. <laughs> uh, this one is one that's got some real solid art style going on yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Very some cool solid aesthetic. Shapes. Very appealing, and I was drawn to it so. Now I gotta try. You were uh. drawn to it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> savage burn. <laughs> no, that okay. one wasn't a burn. That was just that was just a joke. That was just a, a bad fun. Incinerated. <laughs> Soundboard's going wild. Get fucked, Karina. <laughs> How do we turn it off? <laughs> f -f -f fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> This is definitely the most combative Drawfee episode. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Everyone's going to beg for Nathan to come back <laughs> to bring the peace. He is sort of the peacekeeper uh, yeah. of the bunch. So you're going more <laughs> your proportions. Yeah. Here. Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. It's <laughs> your style. I thought that was the point. It is. <laughs> I, I find that I have a hard time not doing the styles that I am looking at the reference of. Like, I was just trying to do fan art of Haikyuu, and it was really hard for me to just not draw exactly what I was looking at. Yeah, you gotta do the sort of brain gymnastics and be like, yeah. what parts of this do I convert? Yeah, which part of this can I make my own? And like, how do I take the essence of this character, Yeah. but put it into my style and make it work with me? Yeah, totally. Yeah, my brain doesn't like to do it. I think I usually kind of, similar to what, uh, Karina's been doing here is that I start with like a head shape mm -hmm. that is very much in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Like I adapt whatever the head shape of the person I'm drawing is into one of my little bean heads. Mm -hmm. And then that makes it a lot easier because I have like a starting point where I like rough out the like form before yeah. I start putting in the details. Yeah, it's a good idea. To make sure that the general like underlying bricks are in my style. I really like mm -hmm. the big... Uh, sort of half undercut look on this character. Yeah. The really long hair on the right, short hair on the left sort of thing. 
Karina came in and she was like, I've got some options I'm considering. And they were just all demons. <laughs> I yeah. like drawing demons. <laughs> yeah, horns, it was great. <laughs> there was a clear through line there. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not calling you out. <laughs> this is just an anecdote. It just kind of happened. It just kind of happened that it was really easy to uh, shit on you for no reason. Yeah, just be like that, huh? It sure do. <laughs> it's Newsday, baby. It's just... Bully Karina Day. That's right. <laughs> Yay. My first Newsday, and I'm getting owned <laughs> constantly. It's, it's our initiation for Newsday. <laughs> Love to get owned and wrecked. Hell yeah. I really like in this drawing the uh, like glitter, sparkle glitter look to it. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to be sure to like do it that. It looks like it would coloring. be a holographic card. Yeah, I could see it as like one of those very uh, selectively shiny stickers. Yeah, you know? you'd get it out of like of uh, yeah. one of them quarter machines. Yeah, you just spend way too much time moving it back and forth to <laughs> yeah. let it shine. The only phrase I could think of was gotcha pawn machine, and I don't. There's an American word for those machines. I always call them you get the 25 toys out cent of. machine. Isn't there like a word for it? I don't know. Is there? I thought they're just called vending machines. Well, it's different. It's like the ones you put the quarter in and you turn the crank and you get a little pod with a toy in it. Like a like a little a little bubble. It's just gotcha to me now. <laughs> mobile games have ruined me. Every time I go to download a new mobile game, I'm like, cool, but does it have gotcha elements? Because if not then I ain't, I ain't in it, baby. You know, we were surprised. Uh, we started playing Yoshi's Crafted World the other day. Yeah. And, uh, you know, surprise gacha. Surprise gacha in there. And I was Yoshi all gotcha. in. You get little costumes for mm -hmm. Yosh. For some reason, it's just more fun when you don't know which one you're going to get. I know. <laughs> but what if you get the one you don't want? You always do get the one you don't want. But sometimes <laughs> you get the one you, you want, and then it's even more exciting. If they just gave me the one I wanted, I would have no excitement whatsoever. I had to like stop playing mobile games because I was like getting into gotcha. Really? Yeah, it wasn't even like good ones too. It was just like, I don't know, like Sanrio games. And I'm like, but I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely addictive. <laughs> and children should not be allowed to play those games. <laughs> so I'm looking at... It's gambling. I decided to Google what the American name for gachapon machines were. And there's no, like, consistent one. There's vending machine. There's a 25-cent candy machine. There's a pod candy gumball vending machine. <laughs> no one has ever called it a pod candy gumball vending machine. Toy capsule vending machine. I think like a toy capsule, like a capsule machine maybe yeah, is what I- maybe. Maybe what I called it. I don't know, I think I always called it 25 cent candy machine, even if it didn't have candy. Did you just eat the toys? Yeah. No matter what came out, you ate it. And we're like, it this is delicious the, candy. It a lot you. of my stomach issues. <laughs> <laughs> Love this candy. Karina, I always really enjoy watching you plan gestures out. <laughs> well, you're doing like ge your Hello? gesture, your gesture drawings, and like planning like the pose. Oh, I yeah. enjoy watching it because it's you're good at it. I sit. So next I try to, to like now. pick up things from it. Yeah, I sit I next to Karina that. now at the office, <laughs> and uh, sometimes I'll see Karina just like lift up a hand and hold it, and then kind of <laughs> tilt your head sideways, and then like very quickly scribble something in, and then put your hand back down. It's like you're figuring it out. Yeah, I think we all do know. that. Yeah. I definitely don't notice every time I do that, but yeah. I like see it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I do the faces big time. Yeah, I make all the, I I make all the faces. I also do faces sometimes, but I try, I, that I know I do, and I try to be really subtle about it, and I don't know if it works. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just can't. If I'm not paying attention, I'm definitely doing it. It does help for some reason. Yeah, especially yeah. if it's a face you don't normally draw. Something, yeah. something about it. Or yeah. something really exaggerated, like you want to do it. See, it helps push it a little bit. Oh, let's get them wangs in. Yeah. Get them wangs and thangs. Oh, Karina, this is so good. I hate following you up. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like so much pressure. <laughs> Intimidation. <Is it> <laughs> <laughs> um. Karina's right good at art. Burr, burr, burr. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the poofy vest. Yeah, I love poofy vests. I think I just chose this one because it has a lot of things I like. Poofy vest, horns. demon, horns, 
Sparkles. Hell yeah. It's got a nice color palette too. Yeah. Just Everything good. about it's just very pleasing. Yeah. You know, I'm realizing that I haven't seen you draw a lot of women. Yeah. I think also, Do you want to answer for that? Uh, Do you have a response? <laughs> I don't know. I just where all the ladies at sometimes. I don't know. To I be wanna. fair, I also kind of default to drawing dudes a lot. It's my default state. It's my comfort zone. Yeah. I think dudes are easier to draw personally. Yeah, for me, they are. Well, they're just like a box. Sure. You just set a box on some other boxes. Yeah. You're like, I'm done. Then ladies got to have all like curves and shit. Yeah. It's like, what's your deal? <laughs> and I also tend to draw all of my proportions to be really long, like long torsos, which is what dudes have more than women. We got like higher waist. Yeah. So every, like, I don't know. I just default to dudes. Drawing's hard. It is hard. Is what we're drawing saying. anything is hard. Drawing anything know. is hard, and I wouldn't recommend it. Because <laughs> I like drawing ladies. It just kind of doesn't happen because I just draw Overwatch fan art all the time <laughs> and like Yu Gi Oh fan art. All Listen, my, all my faves are guys. Sorry. You gotta follow your bliss. <laughs> Karina, I want you to draw me some Farah. Okay, that's my main. <laughs> that's Julia my wants box. some Far Mercy fan art. Hell yeah! Please, please, Karina. <laughs> Gift this to me. No, that was Widow Tracer. I did Widow Tracer. Widow Tracer. Sorry. Get that trash <laughs> out of here. That's like <laughs> the other big ship. Get that filth out of my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like that your drawing of this uh, OC has got more like a little bit more fight energy. Like it looks like she could do a punch on someone. Yeah, she's less doing like a like one of those like meow meow hands and yeah. more doing like a I'm getting ready to punch. Yeah, more like a I'm tightening my glove <laughs> anime style. So that I can do a really big, cool punch on my foes. Man, I wish I could do a big, cool punch. <laughs> yeah, but there's not a lot of opportunities to punch things. Either. No, and I, I've always heard like that if you do punch someone really hard, you end up just like hurting yourself a lot too. You have to have like the right punch or a method. Uh, method. <laughs> punch energy. Yeah. Have the right punch energy. One time I was like about to punch my cousin, and he was like, "Don't do that." You're doing the thumb wrong to hurt yourself. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it right for next time yeah. when I want to punch you. Now I know better. <laughs> My dad was very picky about how I threw punches. Not that I did throw punches, but how I threw punches. He would always what? correct my form on punches. <laughs> Well, it's important because if you do it wrong, you'll break your hand off. Yeah, clean yeah. off. You can you can break your wrist. You can break your knuckles. I just want it to be like the animes, where I can <laughs> do a big punch. It just kind of happens. Where like Deku, you can just punch something and not get hurt oh, at all. Oh wait! Oh no! Wait a minute. <laughs> where you punch something and destroy your entire body <laughs> in the process. Karina, this rules. This looks yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. I want to send you some of my OCs now. <laughs> Guys, we should do an art trade. Oh my God, could we? <laughs> we could though. I don't even have any OCs. Literally nothing is I. stopping us. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Next news day. We see each other every day. All right, I did it. You did it. This is awesome. Excellent oh, work. I'm sure you. that Bunny Berry will ah. be very psyched about this. Huh. That's okay. my only hope. Okay. It's my turn. All right, so I'm up and I'm going to draw just... This rad drawing, I don't know why I picked this. I can't improve on this, but I just like it, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna draw Meeple Skills drawing at Meeple Skills on Twitter. Just drew this rad skull wig person. It's a rad skull wig person. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the best explanation I would have. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go with it. Um, it's very cool. <laughs> it reminds me of like a pirate, but also like a Victorian era lady yeah I'm not sure what to make I think like the only <laughs> thing that I can do with this one is kind of like keep with the mood a bit so I think that's what I'm gonna try to do because this one this drawing is perfect yeah the drawing let's, is perfect. let's be real <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna try to you know give it my own setting and, and mood and stuff that's I'm gonna try my best well, you're a big mood artist. I love mood. <laughs> you're, you're a big you're mood. You're a big mood. <laughs> Julia, you're a big mood. Congrats. Yeah. I always knew I was a big mood. 
but people it's nice see to hear you confirmed. on the street and they go big mood yeah <laughs> shake their head and say big mood sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad depends I on know. the day and you know what i don't even care that's how big care. a mood you yeah, are I, I don't even care if it's good or bad because i'm mood you just wanted to draw a skull i did <laughs> Well, there's a lot about this that I like. Listen, there's there's a skull, there's a high collar. <laughs> there we go. There's my two criteria. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Big hair. Big hair. Don't I love care. this right now. <laughs> kind of like going, a mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. I feel like you always find a way to do an anatomical drawing of a skull. Yeah. And droppy. I <laughs> just love doing it. <laughs> and it's not like an easy subject to tackle. Skulls are, are notoriously complex. Uh, Yeah. I had a, an anatomy professor who had me memorize how to draw skulls from different angles. Damn. Um, and that was my art school experience. I think I only had to do it from two angles once. <laughs> a few times, but... She really wanted us to know. I was gonna say That's like, good. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about like, oh, and you know, look how helpful it ended up being. But here we are. <laughs> so you know. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> it is. It is. You've landed in one of the few careers where, for you personally, mm -hmm. knowing how to draw a skull is beneficial. Yeah. Okay. And that's because you choose to do so frequently. Yes. Just <laughs> bust out a skull every now and again. You're making that art degree work for you. And I like that. I paid for it. I'm going to get my uses out of it. Get your skulls worth. Get my skulls worth. <laughs> I think I want I want to cheat the skull a little bit and like put some toot in here, you know? <laughs> you want it to have a little bit of like a, an eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> a skull brow. <laughs> You want those moldy bones. Because I feel like there's a little bit of that happening in this in this piece. Yeah, there's definitely some attitude. This is a skull with attitude. Okay, so now I got to get this wig in here. And I love that there's a wig involved in this skull. One thing I'm unclear on with this drawing mm -hmm. is where where do the flesh begin? I think the flesh is coming, because I was just looking at that. There's neck flesh. I yeah. think it goes into the skull, kind of. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Not over the skull, but into the skull. Like it's just jammed in there? Like yeah. someone's head is jammed in this skull? It's like tucked. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like thinking about that. Well, you asked. I guess it's like Ghost Rider. <laughs> a little bit. Is this Victorian era Ghost Rider? Because the hair is kind of like flame-like. A little bit. <laughs> is that a G on the belt? Is it Ghost Rider? <gasps> Is this Victorian Ghost Rider? It's Coast Rider. Is this Coast Rider? <laughs> coach Rider. Like one of those coaches. I really just love the whole motion of this hair. Yeah. There's a lot of action. Like I want to know what startled this skull to get this reaction. Like what's more startling than being this skull? I kind of read it as more of like a, hey. I'm yeah, here. Like a haughty okay. I've entered. Okay. What's up, party people? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just screaming. <laughs> Let's get this rope chain thing here to close this up. Yeah. You don't want your skeleton nipples showing. Yeah. No. Because I bet they're like little bones. Mm, I mean, <laughs> it looks kind of fleshy. Well, this character. we know we're going to leave that for at Meeple Skills <laughs> to tell us. Meeple Skills is the bone nipples. Meeple Skills, get at me on Twitter and let me know if the nipples is bones. If the nipples is bones. And if you don't want Julia to know because you're afraid that she'll judge you, you can DM me the answer and I'll keep it private. It'll just be between us. Is he going to have bottom teeth? Yeah. Was that was that upsetting you? It kind of looked like he was like doing like a biting his lip. And then I was like, but he shouldn't have a lip. He doesn't he have a lip. Don't Certainly don't got lips. There we go. Now he's got that. Big toothy grin. He bites the entire like bottom row of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Crunches <Lunch>. into him. <laughs> now I gotta figure out these hands. These hands. These hands. Really position it so that you have to get rid of as much of your original drawing as you can. I yeah. think that's the good strategy. Listen, that drawing, just a bunch of lines. I can get rid of them. That's what all drawings is. What? All drawings is just a bunch of lines. What? <laughs> How is this confusing? <laughs> <laughs> Drawing is what? 
I'm worried about you. All drawings is. All drawings is just a bunch of lines. Whoops. <laughs> it's a party horn. <laughs> Looked like a party horn. <laughs> Is it not a party horn? It's not a party horn. I've I've leaned into the I wrong part. Doesn't have lips. Is it one of those long cigarettes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he smokes even yeah. without lips. <laughs> this this presents the same problem. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Maybe there's a lot of problems I'm with wrong. this <laughs> skull with flesh. <laughs> maybe there I are have ways. One concern and one concern <laughs> only. <laughs> Our issues must be addressed, Julia. <laughs> the people demand answers. Okay. This is that. a fun pose you've gone with here. It's very sassy. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Looks like he's judging someone from across the party. Yeah, I want, <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted was like at a party and like, oh God, Reginald is acting up again. Oh, is that what <laughs> you've decided to wear, Tornthrop? <laughs> Tornthrop's one of his friends. Okay. We all know it's torn throb. Yeah. <laughs> we all know a torn throb. Listen, sometimes you got to look around you, and if you don't see a torn throb, then you might be the torn throb. <laughs> don't be the torn throb in your friend group. Don't forget the bangles on the wrist. That's true, that's true. We got true. some jewelry on this skelly. Fashion. Yeah, we do. Fashion. I love this character. Yeah, this character's great. I'm this such a looks fan. Like, looks like it would be sort of the uh, <laughs> like portrait painting version. Yeah. Like this would be hanging in the skeleton study <laughs> right above his desk. <laughs> a giant version of this, oh, this painting. Closes. I want to like set, set, set some quick mood here. Some curtains. <laughs> yeah. We got like the hint of a, of a party thing going on here, but we got a plant here. Maybe he's like standing by the window, you know, because he doesn't want to get smoke in the house. Because he can't oh, smoke. He's polite. He just you know? burns a cigarette <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. This cigarette is more for you than it is for me. I hope you enjoy. I don't smoke. I like, what do you mean? <laughs> That's not how you enjoy a cigarette. I'm enjoying it if you're enjoying it. You know what I mean? I'm not enjoying it. What? Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Moving on then. Well, you know, I don't, I don't have much on the original artist of this, but scenery... Scenery I can do. <laughs> I'm sure you'll really do this up in the final render too. Yeah. I really want to get, really just lean into this mood here. Go dog wild on it. Yeah. Uh, you know what, I'll just leave those open. And then the plants will be on the outside. And then maybe there's like some sort of wallpaper here that I'll flush <laughs> out later. You know what yeah, I mean? Just a, you do a whole, lot of work for yourself. You really are, yeah. With each thing you say, you add another <laughs> 10 minutes onto that. your work. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I want. I want yeah, to do and good. On this side, I do like a corner and have a crowd in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Full I should crowd. have a cityscape outside the window. <laughs> Someone doing a flip in perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Combine it with my scene, like in the trees outside. The character I drew is jumping out yeah. uh, from yeah. a different angle, um, attacking some bandits. And then on top of one of the buildings in the cityscape, there's a horse. <laughs> yeah, there's a horse on a bicycle. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get one vampire in, don't you? <laughs> you can't be Hello? happy unless you get one. Karina said add more people. <laughs> no! You have to draw one Schmidt. One Schmidt vampire or else you're not happy. <laughs> you're going to give him different hair? <laughs> it's trauma now. <laughs> From Gundam Wing. It's Schmidt with his hair messed up. <laughs> Um, Listen, either you're a Schmidt or you're a Troa. That's just how it is. In my art, it's one or the other. <laughs> That's just pop? the way. <laughs> pop. No, his hair's like going up oh, okay. a little bit. So oh, it's like, like up to the side. <laughs> Guys, this has been Newsday. <laughs> Are you done, Julia? Yeah, I'm done. I love Schmidt. <laughs> I love Schmidt. Got to sneak him in every app. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know if you enjoyed this OC fan art challenge and if we should do more of these. It's a lot of fun to try and like reinterpret yeah. people's artwork. And uh, you guys sent in so much amazing stuff. Uh, so maybe we'll do another one just because we have so much of it to do. Yeah. And if Nathan wants to get in on one. Wow. But yeah, let us know what you thought in the comments. Tell us that you love us and that we're beautiful and wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And as always, we're sorry. 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 <laughs>